Delaware. Is Black History Month celebrated as well as in Prince George's County? Talk about something for everyone. From performance stages to art galleries and community centers, many wonderful events are planned. Of special interest is the exhibition Celebrating Civil Rights Milestones from Emancipation to Administration in Prince George's County from 1864 to 1994 on display at Harmony Hall Regional Center through March 9th. Historian Gail Thomas curated this exhibition. We're focusing here on civil rights milestones in Prince George's County. Right. Correct. We are, but we're intermixing that, certainly, with whatever happened on the national scene. Um, everyone with all of the civil rights um, milestones and events that are going on is doing a civil rights exhibit, and we thought we would take this opportunity to Concentrate on that, but also interweave some of the things that happen that are really significant in Maryland and also in Prince George's County. And we have several events that we think have been overlooked and it's our opportunity to shine. Um, one of them that we're, we're working on is the Maryland State Constitution, um, which um, was um, enacted but still left a lot of loopholes and in Maryland, um, African-American children were sent back to their owners, some of them, um, through the Maryland State Orphans Court. So those are the kinds of things we're trying to profile. We're profiling the fact that um, Thurgood Marshall was very active in, the, um, in, in Prince George's County. Um, he had several clients that he um, um, represented, and he represented um, African-American students trying to get into the University of Maryland. Um, we also think that um, the election of Wayne K. Curry was a civil rights milestone. Um, it happened two years after the um, African American population became minority um, um, majority. And immediately we elect uh, an African American county exec. So those are the types of things that we're trying to profile. And, and you'll see it here. Now also at Harmony Hall this weekend, Expressions of a People, which is a free celebration with entertainment and activities for all ages. And it's on Sunday from one to six. And all these fabulous things that are planned are in this wonderful little catalog calendar here that you can pick up at any park and planning uh, location. But it's full of really fascinating things to do and places to go. 